clearing the neighborhood around its orbit is a criterion for a celestial body to be considered a planet in the solar system. This was one of the three criteria adopted by the International Astronomical Union in its 2006 definition of planet. In the end stages of planet formation, a planet will have cleared the neighborhood of its own orbital zone, meaning it has become gravitationally dominant, and there are no other bodies of comparable size other than its own satellites or those otherwise under its gravitational influence. A large body which meets the other criteria for a planet but has not cleared its neighborhood is classified as a dwarf planet. This includes Pluto, which shares its orbital neighborhood with Cooper Belt objects such as the Plutinos. The IAU's definition does not attach specific numbers or equations to this term, but all the planets have cleared their neighborhoods to a much greater extent than any dwarf planet, or any candidate for dwarf planet. The phrase may be derived from a paper presented at the General Assembly of the IAU in 2000 by Alan Stern and Harold F. Leveson. The authors used several similar phrases as they developed a theoretical basis for determining if an object orbiting a star is likely to clear its neighboring region of planetesimals, based on the object's mass and its orbital period. Clearly distinguishing planets from dwarf planets, and other minor planets had become necessary because the IAU had adopted different rules for naming newly discovered major and minor planets, without establishing a basis for telling them apart. The naming process for ERA stalled after the announcement of his discovery in 2005, pending clarification of this first step. Details The phrase refers to an orbiting body sweeping out its orbital region over time, by gravitationally interacting with smaller bodies nearby. Over many orbital cycles, a large body will tend to cause small bodies either to accrete with it, or to be disturbed to another orbit, or to be captured either as a satellite or into a resonant orbit. As a consequence it does not then share its orbital region with other bodies of significant size, except for its own satellites, or other bodies governed by its own gravitational influence. This latter restriction excludes objects whose orbits may cross but which will never collide with each other due to orbital resonance, such as Jupiter and the Trojan asteroids, Earth and 3753 Cruithn, or Neptune and the Plutinos. In their paper, Stern and Leveson sought an algorithm to determine which planetary bodies control the region surrounding them. They defined I, a measure of a body's ability to scatter smaller masses out of its orbital region over a long period of time. I is defined mathematically as where M is the mass of the body, A is the length of the body's semi-major axis, and K is a function of the orbital elements of the small body being scattered and the degree to which it must be scattered. In the domain of the solar planetary disk, there is little variation in the average values of K for small bodies at a particular distance from the Sun. If I won, then the body will likely clear out the small bodies in its orbital zone. Stern and Leveson used this discriminant to separate the gravitationally rounded, sun-orbiting bodies into a one-quarter Ber planets, which are dynamically important enough to have cleared its neighboring planetesimals, and unter planets. The A one-quarter Ber planets are the eight most massive solar orbiters, and the unter planets are the rest. Stephen Sutter proposed an observationally based measure of micron, which he called the planetary discriminant to separate bodies orbiting stars into planets and non-planets. Per Sutter, two bodies are defined to share an orbital zone if their orbits cross a common radial distance from the primary, and their non-resonant periods differ by less than an order of magnitude. The order of magnitude similarity in period requirement excludes comets from the calculation, but the combined mass of the comets turns out to be negligible compared to the other small solar system bodies so their inclusion would have little impact on the results. A micron is then calculated by dividing the mass of the candidate body by the total mass of the other objects that share its orbital zone. It is a measure of the actual degree of cleanliness of the orbital zone. Sutter proposed that if a micron 100, then the candidate body be regarded as a planet. Here is a list of planets and dwarf planets ranked by Sutter's planetary discriminant a micron, in decreasing order. Note that for all eight planets defined by the IAU, a micron is orders of magnitude greater than 100, while for all dwarf planets, a micron is orders of magnitude less than 100. Also listed is the Sterner Euro Leveson parameter I. Again, the planets are orders of magnitude greater than 1, 
and the dwarf planets are orders of magnitude less than 1. The scattering power relative to Earth is also shown, as is the distance where I equals 1. Disagreement Stern, currently leading the NASA New Horizons mission to Pluto, disagrees with the reclassification of Pluto on the basis that a Euro like Pluto or Euro Earth, Mars, Jupiter and Neptune have not cleared their orbital neighborhoods either. Earth co-orbits with 10,000 near-Earth asteroids, and Jupiter has 100,000 Trojan asteroids in its orbital path. If Neptune had cleared its own, Pluto wouldn't be there, he now says. This is a shift from Stern's statement in 2000, we define an A1 quarter Bear planet as a planetary body in orbit about a star that is dynamically important enough to have cleared its neighboring planetesimals. And a few paragraphs later, from a dynamical standpoint, our solar system clearly contains eight to one quarter Bear planets a Euro, including Earth, Mars, Jupiter, and Neptune. Stern and Leveson's paper shows that it is possible to estimate whether an object is likely to dominate its neighborhood given only the object's mass and orbital period, known values even for extrasolar planets. In any case, the recent IAU definition specifically limits itself only to objects orbiting the Sun. See also, List of solar system objects, list of solar system objects in hydrostatic equilibrium, list of solar system objects by size, list of notable asteroids, mesoplanet, references. External links, Ottawa Citizen, The Case Against Pluto Thursday, August 24, 2006.